Hey everybody! No, I have not undone my hair. It's crazy y'all get to see me do my hair in the mornings. It's about a quarter to six. I um, made good timing this morning. I think I um, had a couple questions about hematology tests and wanted to go over that but I also wanted to do a stick because someone wanted me to do a stick. I guess just to do a stick. So how about we jump into this stick. Um, order draw sticks if you're here for the first time that's kind of pretty much what I talk about what I try to go over what I try to help you guys study and all that good stuff there are things that are different because of instruments and there are things that are going to be slightly different because of where you are so I like to put that out there and I learn from you and you learn from me because sometimes I'll say something and there, somebody will chop my head off and say oh no you don't know what you're talking about that's not right so I've been doing this for a minute I've been at the same facility for years so for me some things may be different for you like um, set rates someone said that they collect their set rates in a black speckled not a black speckled because yeah in a tube that we don't use I forget what color I'm not looking at my comments but we collect set rates in a purple top lavender top just like we do our CBC's and our retics now all three of these tests can be run off of one tube if I'm not correct if I'm correct I um yeah, I tend to mix that up sometimes too, but for the most part, those tests will go to hematology. The only time you will use, or send, I should say, a lavender top to chemistry is when you draw an A1C. And most times if you have an A1C and a CBC, you need two tubes because that A1C needs to go to special chemistry and not hematology. So if you're drawing a, a patient and you have a CBC, A1C, comp, and let's say a PT, PT, TINR, and a PSA, you're going to get a red, you're going to get a blue, you're going to get a green, and you're going to get two lavenders. And I say green because we run our chemistries on green, in green. You may run your chemistries on gold, and that's okay. Some labs use the SST for um, chemistries, and I talked about that in a video before the last video, I think. So if you're not certain about that, just go back and look at that. And I think I made it very clear. So outside of that this morning, um, yeah, I guess we'll do a stick this afternoon maybe. So if you guys come back this afternoon, you'll see a stick, uh, just a regular stick. I wanted to hit that this morning because I did it the other day and I didn't post it because I was rambling a bit and I confused myself. So I know I would have confused you all. So anyway, thumbs up this video if you like it. If um, you want to add something to that, please comment down in the section below. <clears throat> I am early here, but I do have other things to do for those of you who are new. I also went over this, I think, yesterday about what I do when I get here. If you want to know anything about the tray or setting up your tray, we can go over that as well. So there are tons of things we can do. If you guys comment, I'll have something ready and prepared. If not, I have to come in here and wing it. Timothy, I'm going to empty the tube station. I have one subscriber who loves the tube station. And as you can see, it is scheduled off when we leave. It goes off automatically. I think around 6 o'clock it comes back up. 6, a little after 6, something like that. So yeah, um, let's get ready for the day. I'm going to go ahead and get it started because I have to empty the fridge and do all this stuff up here and have the station ready. So when the phlebotomists come in, it is ready. So I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>